Hey Pisces and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to take a look into your recent past, your current energy and your future and we're going to see what spirit, what the universe would like you to know. Now for any of you that are interested I do personal readings and I'll put my website in the description and you can book one if you want to. But let's begin. Messages for Pisces. Sun, moon, and rising. What does Pisces need to know at this time, spirit? Messages of Pisces. Okay, in your recent past, we've got the Nine of Wands, the Four of Wands, the King of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. Okay, I can see here that you've been working on something really hard. I think you're proud of yourself. You're proud of how far you've come. And I think you were beating yourself up for a long time, like always feeling like you should be doing more and putting pressure on yourself. Or it was like you always felt like you should be pushing, you should be pushing yourself more, even when you're doing so much already. Now, I can see here that you're actually, you're stopping and you're having this moment to reflect. It's like you're looking at your life. You're looking at how far you've come all of these challenges that you've been through. And I think it's starting to hit you now, like, wow, like you really did that on your own. Like there were times where, you know, you couldn't rely on other people. You couldn't turn to other people. You didn't know how to express exactly what it was that was going on inside of you. All you knew was that it was something you had to face by yourself. It was a challenge you were overcoming and it was personal. It was deep and it was to do with your own purpose, your journey. And I think as much as you can go to friends and you can talk to them and you can let them know how you're feeling. It's like you still knew that this was you dealing with your shadow work. I think that there were certain aspects of yourself that you didn't want to look at, pain that you had buried that was very difficult to face. And it took a very long time for you to be able to come to terms with it, to look at the things that could be affecting you still now. And yet I see you just it's like you're pausing, you're pausing for a moment, you're realising how far you've come and you're starting to gain your confidence back here. But let's clarify with some tea leaf cards. Okay, we've got Horseshoe, good luck. September. Box, you will receive a gift. Tense, temporary situation. Okay, so yeah, I feel like you were in a temporary situation. It could have felt at one point like your problems were overwhelming you, but you're out the other side of it now. Good luck is on your side and you deserve it. I think you've put in so much hard work, so much effort. You know, there were times where you really wanted to give up and you didn't, and spirit can see that. I think, you know, you were being tested. You were being tested on how much you believe in yourself, how far you've come and you've proved yourself. So now you're starting to see this good luck coming in. You could have received a gift recently. Now I am getting the month of September here. So I think by September, your life is going to look very different. There's going to be a lot of major changes coming up for you. Now I just feel like I need to pull a couple more cards from recent past to clarify. Okay, so we've got pay attention to your health. Forces working against you, okay. Pisces, it comes up in every reading. There's some people that don't like how far you've come. They don't like the fact that you started putting yourself first. Now, it's strange because I think it comes from a place of jealousy, people envying what you have. It's like they like to see when you were in a situation where you almost felt stuck or when you were dealing with something that wasn't bringing out the best in you. Certain people, they didn't want to see you succeed. I think that they could see your potential. They could see how far you could go if you really believed in yourself. And there were people in your life in the past that like little by little, they would just pick away at you and they were putting you down without you even realizing. And this could be family members, it can be friends, it could be ex-partners, whoever it was. There were some people in your life that I feel really were chipping away at you and you did not see it at the time. It could just be little comments that you wouldn't really read too much into. But it's the way it used to make you feel. It's like 
at one point you did need somebody there to boost you up to tell you, you know you can do it and I think you didn't have that for a while you really didn't and you had to rely on yourself for that you had to get to a point where you were sick of the situation you were in you were sick of how you were feeling what you were going through and I think you got fed up you genuinely got fed up with feeling unhappy and not making any changes so I think yeah, there were people working against you. There was evil eye, people that didn't want to see you happy, didn't want to see you succeed. And that was purely from a place of them knowing that you were going to go very far in your life. Now, I feel like, you know, you need to pay attention to your health. If something's stressing you out, if something's making you feel unhappy, you need to remove that from your life. And I think you've done that in a lot of situations when it comes to toxic people just putting yourself in surroundings that weren't really for you, things that weren't aligning with your life. However, this can be anything, you know, this could be your work. If you're in a job that you feel isn't really bringing out the passion in you, you just feel like it's not giving you what you need, it's time to walk away. And I feel like there's something here in the recent past that has been weighing on you. Yeah, you need to pay attention to your health. I feel like you're starting to appreciate yourself. You're starting to give yourself the credit that you deserve. And you're realising, you know, just how strong you are and how powerful you are to have got to this point. But now it's time to look at your health, look at how you're feeling in certain situations. And, you know, it doesn't matter how much time you've given to something. If it doesn't resonate with you anymore, you need to let go of it. Let's have a look at what's going on with you at the moment, Pisces. Current energy, Pisces. Okay, so we've got the Two of Wands, the Three of Swords, the Chariot, the Two of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. You're trying to make your mind up about something. I feel like this is a battle between your head and your heart. You want to move forward with your life. You want to go to this next stage. And I feel like there's something that you know you need to let go of. But it's difficult. It is. I see you here. And it's like you know that this decision is going to impact your life drastically. Whatever path you choose to take is going to change things in a big way. It's not a small decision here. It's something that really will change a lot in your life now. This could be tied up to a connection because we do have the Two of Cups here. I feel like this is a very deep connection that you have with somebody here. It's a very, I'm getting the energy of a karmic relationship because of the Three of Swords. It's like, it could be a twin flame. With this combination of energy that's coming out, I feel like there's somebody in your life that it is deep, it's very meaningful. You feel like you understand this person, they understand you. And they are triggering a lot of growth in you. It's like they're highlighting the parts of yourself that you need to work on and you're doing the same. You're both mirroring each other and showing each other, you know, what you need to change about yourself, what you need to work on. So it could be tied up to this connection, but I do see you here making a decision. And this is to do with what you desire in your life, how you're feeling. You're very in tune with yourself right now. You're tapping into your intuition. This is the thing, it's like your head and your heart are at a war, but you need to go of your gut. And I hope that makes sense, but it's like your head's telling you one thing, your heart's telling you another. It's like logic and your feelings are fighting with each other, but you need to tune into your gut. And I can see here that your intuition right now is very strong, but it's just whether or not you're listening to it. You feel very, like you're in two minds, you just... You're not sure at the moment. I think you're having a lot of realisations, epiphanies. It's like there's been a lot of moments recently where you just feel like something's hitting you, like a realisation is just hitting you and it's getting harder and harder to ignore. Forest muddled, unclear thinking, yeah. Dark woman, dealing into a relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. This person could be significant in your life at the moment. Four leaf clover, great good fortune. This is the thing, I feel like right now, 
It may feel like everything around you is very confusing. You feel like you don't really know what way you're coming, what way you're going. But you do have good luck on your side. Like it's coming up in the recent past and it's coming up good fortune in your current energy. So whatever this is that is causing you, you know, to feel this way at the moment, it is going to benefit you in the long run. I think that you've got to this point where it's time to like have a clear out, a clear out in your life. There needs to be a few changes because you're not the same person that you were a year ago. You're really not. You've grown so much. You've been through so many, you know, moments that have transformed you. And as much as you're trying to like carry on in this life that you've built, you're not the same person. You can't go back. It's like once you have these moments where you have these realizations, these wake up calls, you may feel at certain points like you want to just ignore it and you want to carry on and things the way they are are comfortable but you're not the same and the more and more you ignore it it's like the louder it's getting you you can't and I think that's why your head is all over the place at the moment I don't know what this is relating to you know I can read the energy that's here you know if this doesn't resonate it's not your reading but if you feel like there is that thing on your mind right now that you're feeling very torn about and this could be a message for you. We've got Bo, you are highly thought of. Yeah, I think a lot of people look up to you and I don't know if you realise that, but I think you inspire people in a lot of ways. People have seen you at low points, they've seen the way you've overcome it and they almost don't understand how you always bounce back. It's like you just, you don't let something keep you down for too long. And I think that surprises people and it also draws them into you. It's like they want to know more. It's like you have this, this mystery about you. And we've got pay attention to your work. You know, you could be feeling like distracted at the moment, feeling like you can't really focus at work. That's the energy I'm getting. Doing something risky, taking a chance. I think this is what it's tied up to. I think you know you need to make a change, but... This decision that you need to make, like it's going to be taking a risk. And I think that's scary. I think it feels uncomfortable and that's why you're avoiding it. Whatever it is that you want to do, whatever change it is that you want to make, it would be taking a leap of faith, like literally diving into the unknown. I think you want to do it though, I do. It's like when you're standing on the edge like, and you know you need to jump in. And it's like you're scared, but you need to just do it. You need to just, I feel like your gut is literally leading the way right now. Spirit is trying to guide you. And that could be why you don't really understand why you're feeling the way you are. Because it's your intuition. And it doesn't always make sense, but that is spirit. That is a higher power trying to tell you that there's something better out there for you. Now we've got March. Yeah, I think that it's going to take a little bit of time. It is. I think that, like we said, by September, there's going to be a lot of big changes. March next year, I feel like that's when you're going to start to see the rewards of everything that you're doing right now. Future messages for Pisces. What is coming up for Pisces? Spirit. We've got the Emperor. The Ace of Pentacles. Judgment, the moon, the ten of swords, the four of pentacles, wow. <sighs> Pisces, I feel like sometimes your lowest moments end up being what brings the biggest changes and the best things towards you. Like, I feel like I was seeing that in the past. I was seeing that you went through a really rough time and then your bounce back, like it just was, like you got so much done. You got that motivation, you got that passion. And that's what I'm feeling here. I feel like there's going to be a moment where everything's going to get on top of you. You're going to feel very overwhelmed. You're going to feel defeated in a way. It's like you just can't, when you're thinking of um, what's next, it's like it just isn't, you can't see what's coming. And I think that's going to bother you in a lot of ways. However, we've got the emperor here. And this is you knowing what you want. This is you feeling like it's time to make a decision. This is 
the opposite of the energy that I'm seeing you in right now. This is you being very decisive, knowing exactly what you want and going for it. And it's going to come at a point where you've, like there is no more going around in circles. You can't do it anymore. Look at that. It's like you're defeated. You need, it's like you have to go with your gut. You have to do what's right for you. This is a new beginning. This is a fresh start. This is a big change in your life and it's scary. You feel like you're trying to hold on to what you know. You're holding on to what feels comfortable, what feels familiar. But spirit is stepping in here with the judgment card. This is a decision. This is and balance needs to come back into your life. And I feel like for a very long time, you've had this inner knowing that there's something more out there for you. Let's clarify. The high priestess, wow. You're setting yourself free. The high priestess is a spiritual awakening. It's The only card that is missing right here that I feel needs to be it is the tower because that is the energy that I'm picking up on. It's like you're going to go through something that is painful, something that hurts a lot, something that gives you the motivation to make a very beneficial change in your life. And once you do that, I feel like it's going to be this weight off of your shoulders. You're going to feel lifted. You're going to feel like you have your passion back. Like the um, the unknown of your life is going to excite you again. I think you're going to feel the opposite of what you think you're going to feel. Like right now, I feel like if you make this decision to take a chance, you're scared that it's not going to work out. You're scared that you're going to feel worse. But when you do it, I feel like you're going to get a thrill like out of the unknown of like not knowing what's next. Stepping into a new experience. Deep personal strength and peace that assure success. Yeah, it's going to bring you peace. That was the word that I was looking for. It's like you're setting yourself free and you're finding inner peace. It's a weight lifted from you. I think you've got stuck in some type of routine, stuck feeling like there's no way out because you've given so much to something. And I don't think you realise how much that's affecting your health. I really don't think you see it because when you're in it, it's so hard to see how something's impacting you. And once you leave that situation, once you go into this new experience, it's like you're going to be so glad. Like what we were talking about, about just taking that leap of faith, jumping off the edge. It's like you, you're you stepping into this new experience and it's going to really open your eyes. An exciting event. I think you're going to be going places you haven't been, doing things that you wouldn't have seen yourself doing. It's like you just need change. You need to experience more. Shield, you need to defend yourself. Yeah, not everyone's going to be happy about this. Not everyone is going to agree with your decision. Indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Do you know what, Pisces? I feel like that's what you were doing. I feel like... You know, you had muddled thinking, you were feeling like you didn't know which way to go. You're at this war in your head and your heart. And it's like, it's because there was something lacking and you knew there was something lacking. So you was kind of just letting it ramble on, building up and up this emotion, that your gut feeling getting stronger and stronger until you reach this point where it's time for you to make a change, to go somewhere new. Now we've got basket recognition reward for merit. This is what you deserve. You deserve to feel at peace. You deserve to not question yourself, to, you know, be present in the moment, not feel like your days are repeating. Like, a, a lot of people don't realise that about Pisces, is that, you know, people think we're the daydreamers, and that is true. We do daydream a lot. However, Pisces really don't like to get stuck in the same routine. Like that can really start to drain them. They need new things. They need experiences. They need to feel like they're free, like they can express themselves and experience new things and go new places. And I think that there was something that you felt was getting very repetitive that you just felt wasn't sparking that passion in you anymore. And as difficult as this is going to be, 
I think you know exactly what you need to do. So we're going to pull a couple of spell cards in Oracle cards to finish this reading off. We've got Spirit Guide, Compassion, and Grieving. Yeah. Transformation isn't easy. If you look at this picture, it's like there's this, this butterfly and it's, you know, that represents you transforming. But you're still going to grieve your old life, the person that you was, the things that you've let go of. You're still going to grieve that part of your life because it's what got you to where you are and that's completely natural you are being guided there could be somebody that you have lost with you in spirit i feel like you're starting to have compassion for yourself you're starting to put your life first not other people's needs i know pisces they love to make other people happy however it's like you're taking your life into your own hands and you're not letting anybody stand in the way of that so yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.